What's going on guys, it's Kate from Beyond the Box, back with a brand new video, and today is a highly anticipated video because I've owned this TV for the past couple months, but I've been so busy, I've been unable to make a review on it until now. Today we're taking a look at the LG OLED CX. Now this is the 55 inch edition, but this could honestly replace you guys' computer monitors. This thing is fast, this thing is 4K, this thing is 2.1 HDMI compatible, and it's built for gaming. That's the TV's biggest strength. Besides it being an OLED and having extremely true dark blacks, which gives a great color contrast. The main reason why a lot of you are probably gonna buy this TV is for the gaming experience. You've heard a lot of places online, this is probably the best TV for you guys to buy, and you're interested to know what it's like to actually own one. I'm about to give you guys the best honest opinion I could possibly give after owning the TV for about two months. As I did say, guys, I did buy this TV for gaming, as did I believe a lot of you did, and you're gonna see in a second that HDR automatically turns on when you open a game or any type of app when you're connected to really anything really on this TV. It's really smart. It's powered by their new A9 processor, which is really fast and it's really smart. And the AI is becoming even better every single year. And it's also got NVIDIA NSYNC inside, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second. The main reason why we bought this TV was for the gaming experience, right? If you guys hold the green button on your smart remote long enough, you guys will see that the free sync information pops up at the bottom of the screen. Like I said, this is 2.1 HDMI compatible. So as you can see, we are using 120 hertz right now for the new Call of Duty this year. So that's new for the first time. That's the biggest reason why I bought it. The biggest upgrade of why you want 120 hertz over a 60 hertz monitor, you see double the frames pretty much. Basically helps remove the ghosting effect when enemies are running, when you're running, it just helps make a smoother image so you can play a little bit better and aim a little bit smoother. But with that being said, guys, the contrast on this TV is remarkable. Because of its true blacks, it really makes colors pop. My only nitpick about this TV is the maximum brightness that is output because it's an OLED and it's not an LED, so you're not gonna have a maximum brightness. But to be honest, guys, when I was reviewing the last TV, the Samsung Q80T, I had a lot of problems and I wasn't really happy with the experience. And I did see a lot of pixelation when I saw Netflix movies, when I saw YouTube videos, when I was watching Disney Plus Mandalorian. That was 4K Ultra HD. There's no reason why it's blurry. I know we can't fully test an image without a Blu-ray player, but I don't have a Blu-ray player. So we're just gonna have to deal with the best we got. So yeah, the maximum brightness is a bit low for this TV, but the new model, the new LG OLED, Evo is a little bit brighter and I think uh, really helps eliminate the problem that the OLED has with the darkness. But besides that, it is just super beautiful and entertaining to play on this TV now. Not only do I love and enjoy playing the game, I enjoy looking at the image that I'm playing on because the OLED just makes everything a little bit prettier in my opinion. Especially when you guys have all lights off around you, things just look, oh, they're, they're great. Also guys, forgive the lights, the reflections on the screen. This is the best way I could possibly light the area so I could get a good amount of light on me without having too much reflection on the screen because that is another big issue with OLEDs, guys. You guys are gonna have a lot of reflection. So if you guys have a lot of natural light in the morning or in the daytime, this TV might not be for you. I still don't believe it's that big of an issue. I just watch TV at night anyway. If you're trying to lay around and lounge and watch a movie or play a game, this is a great type of TV for that. Now, as I said, guys, I do not have really any of the problems I had with the Samsung Q80T. The blurriness is gone. Even on this image, I'm right next to the screen, guys. I know I should not see a blurry image. Doesn't matter whether whether I'm four feet or four inches, it shouldn't make a difference. I don't have a problem with this image. It's really great. I don't have any of the complaints I had with the Samsung. Dark corners of the Samsung, the grainy image, the slight ghosting when it came to the pixeling and the graininess of the image. It's just not the same experience. When it comes to the skin quality on people's faces, it's just not as blurry and it's just not as grainy. It just makes me a lot happier when I'm up close to the image and I can see it's a great quality image up close. The speakers are actually pretty remarkable as well. I was pretty happy when I first listened to them. So uh, enjoy this little clip that we're gonna roll so you can see what it's like to own an LG CX through my eyes and uh, we'll be right back. This is just the most beautiful picture that I have ever seen. These lions looked incredible. The sky looks beautiful. The color just is such a difference with the contrast. That lion is so beautiful. Like, I'm just, I'm not even like making this up, guys. You can't see what I see without being here in person. 
it's just not the same. Now guys, another really cool thing about this TV being an OLED means that when it goes black, it looks like it's completely off. This is not off. This is a paused screen. We're about to play an image that will blow your mind. I wish you guys could see in first person what you're about to see in this video. It's incredible. See the black level just looks so dark. It just looks like every single pixel is off because they are. Everything that's not color filled is off. This image is beautiful. It's breathtaking. I've never seen anything like this. And to be able to own something like this is just breathtaking in all. Oh, oh. It's just so mesmerizing. I don't want to look away. I love playing these sample videos. I go back and I watch them a couple times again and again. They're just so nice to look at. So there you have it guys, there it is. Here is the LG CX 55 inch model. It is my favorite product probably I bought in 2020. Definitely the prettiest to look at. It makes all my viewing experiences much more pleasurable and I just enjoy looking at picture a whole lot more. Everything has changed for me in terms of watching movies. It just completely changes all the images and all the picture that you see. If you guys are interested, I'll have a link in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourself. We are also doing a Quest 2 giveaway at 20,000 subscribers, guys. And I think we're only like 5,000 away at the time of making this video. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you're already not done so already. Make sure you guys hit that bell icon so you're always up to date every single time I post a video. And make sure you follow me on Twitter because when I do the giveaway, we're gonna be posting it live on Twitter. With that being said, guys, I'm gonna sign off. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something new. If you did, smash that like button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.